Welcome back into NBC5. Of course, today's Valentine's Day, and I know everyone on their mind is like, man, the one thing we could use is rain. And some good news for today is that we have a good setup of precipitation. That's after 30, second, uh, 30 consecutive days without rainfall here in Medford. That stretch beating the old record by 10 days. Now, again, we have that set up for precipitation today. Might even continue with some light showers overnight tonight, some possible snow for parts of our area. And what you are seeing is we're going to be drying out, but staying chilly next few days. We do see the chance of additional precipitation as we're getting into Sunday and to start next week. Fantastic news for our area. We're seeing a few more rounds of rain. Uh, in our area, but something else is the cooler temperatures. We're going from these 60s and possible uh, in 70s of this weekend to the upper 40s and lower 50s the next couple of days. So a big drop off in high temperatures and there's the cold front moving up into the Pacific Northwest with the upper level system. You're seeing that better coverage of rain and snow up to our north at the moment. We are starting to see a few hints of light precipitation just now up in towards Douglas County but we're going to see a little bit better coverage as we're getting through this morning into the early afternoon hours. Some snow expected along the Cascades and get this, they're under a winter weather advisory. It has been a while since we've had this for the Cascade Mountains. Something else east of the Cascades, we're going to be seeing those wind speeds picking up through this afternoon, getting up to about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could see some of the wind gusts as high as about 40 to 45. So a bit gusty to the east. Uh, the rest of us will also see wind speeds a little bit on the breezy side, a little bit gustier towards the coastline as well. Now pinpoint forecast again, already hinting some of the light showers. We're not seeing that just yet, but we will see that coverage picking up as we're getting through this morning. About lunchtime, most of the precipitation is going to stay west of the Cascades, but we'll see some of it drifting to the east as well, just not as high amounts of precipitation. It might have some light snow mixed in as well. Most of your heavier snow amounts going to be along the Cascade Mountains. The rest of us, we're, we're going to be dealing with these showers. Don't expect too much in precipitation, but at this point, we will take anything we can get. Possible fall to start out your Tuesday morning, followed by a mostly sunny afternoon. Again, rain amounts, most of us, about a tenth of maybe two tenths of an inch of rain. Some spots might get closer to a third to a half of an inch, especially towards the coastline. Talking about snow, we're seeing that along the Cascades, up to around four to six inches for Crater Lake, Lake of the Woods. Klamath Falls and areas east, going to see less than an inch of that. Mount Ashland might also see around three to four inches of new snow. Now, again, we're going to be drying out after after today, there might still be a few, uh, uh, some drizzle, even some light showers up into Coos and Douglas County uh, the next few days. But we'll be drying up and warming up by the end of the week, returning to about 61 on Friday after today's high of 51. So it's taken us a little bit to warm up. And morning temperatures, teens and 20s for the Klamath Basin, highs only in the 40s, but returning to some 50s by the end of the week. Uh, Mount Shasta, Northern California, again, going to see some of the showers and snow along the mountain. Bit gusty today with a high of 54, dropping to 48 tomorrow. That's pretty common through the rest of this week. You're seeing coastline, upper 40s, low 50s, mid 50s by the end of the week. And again, showers today, windy today. Also seeing morning fog and drizzle next couple of days.